Tonight, police are looking for the man who tried to rape a woman in Central Park over the weekend. Jenna DeAngelis spoke with park goers who want to see more police patrolling that area. When it comes to Central Park, many New Yorkers like Niall Lanning and Lucy Dew see it as a safe haven. It's one of my greatest joys. I grew up here. It says it's an oasis and it's the lifeblood of this, this city. The longtime city residents are among the many horrified to hear a woman was brutally attacked in the park Saturday morning. Women should be able to go out and run at any time of day and night they want to. And it's absolutely disgusting that they can't. Police say the 38 year old was in the vicinity of 85 East Drive around 5 a.m. when a man pushed her over a metal fence, punched her in the face multiple times, and tried to rape her. This is the man police are looking for who they say got away on a bike last seen on Fifth Avenue. The woman was taken to the hospital in stable condition. I'm very glad she escaped and good thing that she got away, but that's just terrible to hear and it, it's scary. The latest NYPD statistics show crime is up 13 percent in the Central Park precinct compared to this time last year. I've lived in New York for 25 plus years and I, you know, back in the day you wouldn't come, but I feel like at this point Central Park feels a lot safer. I would caution anybody, man, female, anyone to just be careful at that time because you do never know. We saw some police patrolling the park Sunday, but Lanning says she wants to see more. I don't see cops around much, but I also don't see them on the subway. I don't see them on the streets as much as I want to. So I think everyone would feel better. To keep cherished Central Park and everyone in it safe. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS News, New York.